GitHub Copilot is an AI pair programming tool and I have been hearing about it for quite some time and thought of trying it out. So last couple of weeks back, I took a subscription of the GitHub Copilot and start using it. Now, GitHub Copilot can be used in Visual Studio. It can be used with Visual Studio Code, even other programming software like IntelliJ. Now, if you look into the plans, it's pretty reasonable in terms of price for individual. It's just $10 a month or you can take a yearly subscription, which is $100. What I'm doing right now is I'm using it mainly with Visual Studio Code. I'm going to try out the Visual Studio next week and I'm going to show some of the example how we can use it. Now, what I have also done is along with Copilot, there is something else which came out is called Copilot X. It is also part of the same Copilot AI toolset. So the main difference between Copilot and Copilot X is apart from giving the standard feature of Copilot, Copilot also comes up with a chat box, which is like chat GPT, but embedded inside the ID itself. So what I have done is I initially joined the waitlist and after joining the waitlist within a couple of days, I was selected and for using Copilot X right now, which is in preview, we need to use the Visual Studio Code insiders version, not the regular version. That is the only prerequisite for using Copilot X with Visual Studio Code. And after it is installed, we can go ahead and install the GitHub Copilot chat. And it comes with the GitHub Copilot nightly as well. Now, if you don't use the GitHub Copilot chat and you are using a normal version of Visual Studio Code, then you can just install the Copilot. So if we type Copilot here, we can see that GitHub Copilot, this is the one which we can use with the normal Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio. We do not need a nightly preview build for that. If we are using nightly preview build, then we can use the GitHub Copilot chat, which is part of the Copilot X. Now let's get into the code and show some of the examples of how we can use it. So for example, here we have this out of box view of ReactJS, which is created. And this is the application which is showing up. I have used byte for the scaffolding and ReactJS is the application. Now here, for example, if I have to write a function, what I can do is this function loops through an array of items and creates a new array where item dot number is odd. Let's say that's what I want to do. As soon as I enter, you see that it is suggesting constant odd number items. It's suggesting a function. So I can just tab it, then enter again. It is again suggesting enter It literally created a function for returning odd numbers. Now let's do one thing. Let's an array of object named items with a number property for each object in the array. It is suggesting even what I am trying to do the array of items. Let's not use this. With the number property 
and then we can say set number from 1 to 10. Now it is suggesting the number. I would have expected it to write a for loop or something to do it, but nevertheless, it suggested a code. I'm just going to go ahead and use it. So it now created this array as well as the code to find the odd number. Now here I can come, this is a React code and I'm not going to go through the how React code works because I'm just trying to show how we can use GitHub Copilot to auto-generate code and help us do some of the code much faster. Then here, what I can do is I can create a, see it is suggesting, it knows that I did the odd number, so it's already suggesting odd numbers. So let's do a tab and then it's suggesting UIUL. So it's creating the odd number. See, it did the entire coding for me. Now, of course, I have to worry about style. This might not be the right location. So I have to do all those. But if you think about it, literally within last few minutes, just with comments, I have created an array and created an array of odd numbers out of it and then a view to show it. Now, if I save it, it's going to rerun the component. And if I go here, I can see the odd number showing up one, three, five, seven, nine in an UL and LI. This is the power of GitHub Copilot. Now let's use one of the feature of the GitHub Copilot X. Now let's say I want to do the same thing, but I want to do it in new file. So let's create a file called oddnumbers.js. Uh, let me rename this odd number dot js. Now let's go to GitHub Copilot. And here, let's say create a React component that will have an array of items where item will have a property number with property number item array will have number from 1 to 10 then find the odd numbers and show it in the view. Now Copilot is going to create this code for me. So it's going to create a React component doing pretty much the same thing we did before. Now we might have to do certain tweaks and modification, but let's see what it comes up with. So it came up with the rear component. Now all I have to do is I can just use this and it's going to paste the code on the right hand side. So here this time it came up with a better code as you can see. And it pretty much did the same thing. And now I can save this one and go here and get rid of this and just say odd numbers and I don't need to pass items but that's about it now there is a problem in the code I have to make it as JSX instead of JS so that they are compatible with each other I'll go and let's save it and now it should be working as expected. Now let's go here and we see the same thing. I have two odd numbers because I have one here as well. So let's get rid of this, save it and go. Now I have just one odd number 
and I see the same result as before. So as you can see, we can create code either through providing comment, in some cases through the chat component and immediately use it inside our source code and we are done. You can see how powerful this can be and how much we can use it. Now the other thing we can do is we can also select a code and ask it to, for example, let's select the code here and ask it to explain the code. So we can just do it. Copilot and we can just in the copilot menu. So we have to select the copilot menu and then we can select explain this. And then it is going to go ahead and explain. So it says, this is a JavaScript function. It finds out the odd, blah, blah, blah. It explains everything. And then it also, one possible improvement to the code it shows is this. And I can now just replace this code with this. I just click this and it is replaced. So this is how we can do it. The other thing, as you have seen, is that let's say we go here and we select this part of the code, right click, go to Copilot. We can also say generate docs. And now we can just go ahead and accept it. And once we accept it created a documentation for this whole odd number function itself. And apart from that, we can also go ahead and generate test for this one. Same thing, it's going to wait, it's going to declare a test. So it is trying to create a test library and you can see here, describe and it created the test for it. So now you don't have to create test class yourself. You can just declare the function and let it create text. Let's create it. And you can see here the test function is created and it's showing up on the right hand side. So as you can see, the GitHub Copilot can be extremely helpful in terms of creating code based on either comment or creating code based on prompt, which is available inside of Visual Studio Code itself or it can be used for analyzing a code, understand what is the purpose of the code, especially if you are dealing with legacy code. And next, it can also create test cases based on existing code. You can just select the function for which you want to create test, and then you can create test cases from there. I am extremely excited about what Copilot can do and how productive it can make us so that we can focus on creating critical aspect of a product, focus on architecture and design, and let it help us increase our productivity in terms of coding through prompt. Let me know what you think about it and how many of you are using Copilot or are thinking of using it. That is all I wanted to cover for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel and you think you are getting value out of this channel, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching this video.